Recording. St. Louis County Police! Are they climbing up in the window or anything? Hmm? Are they climbing up in the window or anything? No, nothing. They don't hear it start. Hello. Hello. Hi, is Angela? Yes. Hi, my name is Officer McClintock, St. Louis County. Do you mind if we come in for a minute? You can't. Come <laughs> okay, we got some paperwork that we have to uh, to present to you, and we. It's basically, it's a, a touchy situation that we want to make sure we can give you all the information we have here. Well, what's the information? Is Delilah here? She is here. What's the information? Okay. So what we have here is um, a court-ordered restraining order. You can't have to serve me with a restraining order without having a court no, date. No, I am having you. And there is a I'm court date for it. January 29th. You don't have a choice, ma'am. Okay, So well, at this point, listen, just stay calm with me and let look, me explain this. She doesn't want to go easier. there. I understand that. Period. Listen to me, though. When something gets issued by a judge here, that judge is a lying bitch. Says, it's a corrupt system okay, that is bullshit. That these fine, aren't even legal. These aren't even legal. These come against my civil rights. We have to. That no act state can come upon anybody's this. home and tell them how to raise their child. Ma'am, you have to understand and give us the opportunity to explain what's going to happen here. What? I got a court date. We're not taking her. Okay. The court order says that we have to take custody of her You're and take her, her to the dad's house. You're okay? not, and he lives in Montana. I what are understand. you going to do, take her to no man's Montana? We're in the process of trying to figure out the best way to go about this. Well, when you get him here, you no, come back. No, I'm happen, shutting okay? my door. You need to relax for a second. No, when you get him here, explain. because you're not taking my daughter and keeping her until he's here. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible And I'm trying on to you. tell you something. You and you and you are not taking my daughter. Okay. As Hi, sir. My name is Officer McClintock. You need to move your foot. No, I need to. You're not welcome in my home. Okay. You need to move I your foot that, because you're not taking my daughter anywhere. You have to. You you have to understand. We don't have a choice in this. You right do now, have okay? a choice. This is not legal. This okay. goes against our rights. Go ahead and uh, key up and have nine. You respond. Okay. Delilah, get your ass out here. Yeah, I mean, people do want to go. I I believe me. I I understand. I've, I mean. I'm, I've had, I have a little bit of background with this situation. I'm not entirely you don't have familiar with it. On no, no, exactly. I don't have everything, but this is a civil matter. You shouldn't even be here at my right. door. It's a civil matter you up until the point that this court order is. Okay, that's fine. Just, just relax, okay? We're trying to 
find some other solution to this. But in the meantime, this paperwork has been filed, and we're just fighting by what it is. I don't care about this legal paperwork that is fucking doesn't make shit. I, I it don't mean shit. I, I understand. I mean, they have 50 customers. Yeah. Right, but this this court order says otherwise for temporary purposes until January 29th. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but listen, well, you know let everything me, you're doing comes against let, them. Let me, it's illegal let what me you're explain doing. what's going on right now. So what we're going to do is we're petitioning. All right, we're going to fill out some paperwork to send it to Child Protective Services. She's to not going see, with him either. Listen, to see if they are able to take custody of her. They're not okay? taking her. Ma'am, just listen. That okay? is fucking bullshit. Just her listen. dad's a sick motherfucker that touched her. I understand. And they're going to take a look at the whole situation. Mm -hmm. And if they decide that she can't go based on this, then... You tell me what a fucking grown-ass man wants with a 14-year-old kid that will go through these I, fucking listen, steps to I, take a 14-year-old little girl. Like I you said, tell me what I he don't wants with have... Her. You I tell me what he wants to do with her. Information. Would you be fucking cool with that if that was your daughter? Just You just got to listen and... I am listening. I've been dealing with this for two I, fucking years. What do you think you want to do? I know, but this is entirely different than what's been issued before, okay? This doesn't have to do with your child agreement. This is a restraining order that Under was issued by a judge. Because she didn't want to go back there because he touches her? It's all right here if you'd like to read it. I read it. I probably got it emailed to me earlier this week. No, it was filed yesterday. I probably got emailed to me earlier this week. It got filed yesterday. There's nothing but to be But they had it typed up you. earlier this week and it got emailed. Okay, that me. might be, but... Yeah, this is what I got emailed to me earlier this week. It's a bunch of bullshit. Okay, but per the judge's order, and this is something we're working with right now to find the solution, because obviously... We're not putting her on a plane like ourselves. This is, it. We're we're just as kind of upended as you are with this whole situation. But because this order was issued by the judge, we have to at least begin this process where we fill out this paperwork and send it to to child services, and then. Well, I won't go with you. I, she won't I go believe with me. You. I, I understand your thoughts on this as well. Okay, well, I'm I'm sorry you're even involved can't in all this. So Delilah, I will kind of fill you in a little bit on what's going on. Like I like I explained here, we're sending in paperwork to see how we're going to go about this process. And I understand you're not wanting to go. I'll let I'll let them know as well that that's your thoughts and that's coming from you. But you guys both have to understand as far as a legal basis goes. There we is have no legal basis on this. This is a it's a judge the law. order. It's so a judge, judge order. You have just as when much, did I allow that judge file, to come into my house and order me to do anything? If you want to file against the judge at some other point, you can. I already have all kinds of shit filed against the judge. Okay, but in the meantime, we have to abide by what was issued here. She's not going to go with you. She won't go with you. Okay, and like I said, we've got the paperwork in the process, and we can explain. I, I just, I just told her. Paperwork. Okay. Down here handling this himself. I've asked him the same thing, and we're, well, then he we're trying to, to figure that out. That's the whole point of why we had to call DFS. Because do you right. have? Do you, let me because ask you this: this You guys have a so far to molest her that he gets DF, DF, DFS involved, which we all know that's just a cash for kids program. Anyway, we, we had to call DFS. It wasn't him. What you're just calling a cash for profit? Okay. The guardian ad litem that you guys have. Oh, that incompetent motherfucker. Do you have any way to contact her other than her law office? You have a way to contact 
Uh, would you mind giving me that? Because she may be able to help out in this situation. Mm -hmm. You some fucking shit called pass, some pedophile fucking bullshit. You being a good dog, Tim. One seven two. That may be the number I called. Is this generally through her law office? Um, I don't really know. Cause yeah, she has two numbers. She has one through her law office and one from her number. But this is the one that she texted on. Okay. Um. Mm. Right, is this like a number you're able to call her at any time? Um, I don't know. Well, how do you typically? How do you typically hear from her? Yeah, I just I was waiting for a call back from her. Also, I didn't know if there's any other quicker way to get through to her to maybe find other resolutions to this. We're we're trying to believe me, ma'am. I'm trying to work with you. And I'm not. Try, I'm not mad at you. And I know. I'm sorry that this aggression is coming out towards you because you're the one at my door. But this is going against everything. Right. And being it's a, a human. It's an uncomfortable situation for all involved. But it's not uncomfortable, it's illegal. Well... To come into somebody's home and take their child is I not know. legal. And that's why I'm not, I'm not trying to just drag her out or anything like that. Well, that's not going to how you're going to have to get her out of here because she ain't going to go with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop, Sir McClintock. She's already called DFS once for me touching her. So, again, like I said, we don't want to be forcing hands on, on any of this situation. Um, what is going to have to happen is we have to fill out our end of the paperwork and send that in to okay. see how this is going to be submitted. Honestly, the best way to do it would be for her to at least go to the station with us to list, just listen to remain to remain in the custody per the order. But if they take a look at that and say that she's able to come back, we drop her off and no big deal. She won't go with you. This is this is a temporary thing as far it as. Matter. Okay, we'll just if stand by. Go with you. When he gets down here and he wants to handle this, then he can handle this. He can come to my door and handle this, but she ain't going with you guys. So what, what way can we all work together to find When her dad gets in town, we can all handle this. But he's not in town. Well, then he needs to come in. So town. this issue, she's not going or to this, the state this thing or with was you ordered. or with CPS or with anybody until her dad gets in town and, he, and we handle this. Right, but he, this was issued with him being out of town. I mean, we can't help that. Care. What does that matter to me? That I'm Wait, trying, I'm trying to prevent it you. by you. Vi like not going through with this, you're in violation of the restraining order. You're not in violation. Okay, I mean, we're not trying to go that route. We're trying to all work together here. We are? I'm trying to. I'm trying to allow well, you to work with us. Well, when he gets in town, then we can do this. What was the original plan that you guys had? The original plan was she was supposed to come home for Christmas. When she got here, she told me she wasn't going back. Okay, and then after that, she was supposed to go back per your guys' original order, right? But per the order, yeah. Okay. Just since you change your mind, you just don't want to go back. She never wanted to go back. She was waiting to come home. I understand. However, she get out of there. She was waiting for me to save her. Okay, 
But you can understand, I, I get it, you don't like DFS. It has nothing to do with DFS. It has mm -hmm. nothing to do with him. It has nothing to do with anything but the fact that my daughter doesn't want to be with him. If that case is being made, then they have to be involved regardless. That doesn't mean she's got to go with them. There ain't nowhere better or safer for that child to be than in my home. Period. Okay, the only thing that we go off of is that order says otherwise. Order I know says. you don't. Does this look I understand. like this is an unsafe place for her that she's in danger right now? Me walking in, I'm, I'm only standing in your kitchen here. Or your your well, living room. As you walking in my, my home that you just disturbed us from having a quiet afternoon, does it look like there's anything to be fearful of in this home? Uh, again, I, like I said, I, I, this is one situation I've come into contact today. I oh, don't, I don't have you guys' as full background. About this. this has been a threat. And I'm not going to have my fucking court system used as a weapon against me. That's all that they're doing. They're using the fucking system. It's a corrupt system used by narcissistic motherfuckers to do what he's doing. Because if I was unfit and she wasn't fit and I wasn't fit enough to take care of my kid, they would have never kept my 50 50 custody with me. I agree. And what's probably going to happen is you guys are going to have this court date January 29th and discuss both sides and it may be reverted back to what you originally had planned when they've done nothing but lie my daughter stated in court she did not want to live with him told them that they didn't care because it's a corrupt system was it for the same reasons at that time it's always been the same reason the touching didn't start until she got there Unless there's more touching that you haven't told me about. I mean, it's always been like weird, like he touched me for like and I'm always freaking fighting with him. But when you first made that custody agreement, mm -hmm. what that said in court? When you when the custody agreement was made for the fifty fifty Whenever I talked to my guardian of Eliza Eliza in private, I told her about how he was touching me and made me uncomfortable but they didn't ask me about it in court. Gotcha. So when you got to court that wasn't presented and then the fifty fifty was determined. Because it's kind of sounding like there's two different, I mean, there's two different cases that, I'm not saying that it's not going on. All I'm saying is that doesn't make sense. So when you have your custody going on, and that already states one way, that's the only thing that we're going off right now. We're not saying that you're lying. We're not saying that you have to go back with him. What we're saying is all that we have right now is based off of the original custody that you had to say. You're 50 with your mom, 50 with your dad. And so that's what that's going off of. So the other situations that you're talking about right now, the reason that we're having a clash here is because that's not considered into that. So what you guys have to do, well, I don't know if it's not lawyers or who, right. you guys have to go talk to your lawyers or whomever to get I'll, that. I don't have a lawyer. I whether it be amended or something like that. reason they took it. I mean, we can, that's what he's saying. He's, he's well, trying to work with the family law instead of criminal. The the only reason we're involved is to serve the paperwork, and as much as I am not wanting this to happen, to enforce it if it's not followed through. And what are you going to do to enforce it? I don't know at this point. I mean, right now we're trying to find solution here rather than Well, don't you take think a man route. that wants to handle something like this should be here handling something like this instead of a coward? Right, but that's not my call. So, let me make a phone call real quick. I you know how fucking kids will end up on Epstein Island. Right here, G. Right like this. This is how they end up. Being child trafficking. Right like this. How they Just saying. Like kids. <laughs>
No longer muted. Alright, um... Ma'am, can I see that court order again, though? Let's pay for it. Okay, let me explain this to her real quick. Let's make sure we're all on the same page. I understand. I got it earlier. Yeah, I'm explaining it to her. Okay. Quick. So we're all on the same page here. Okay. All right. Have you had a chance to talk to Sergeant Meyer? Mm -mm. I, I forgot the 981 thing. Um, oh. I, I had been speaking with them about it. So temporary training order. Dad is in Wisconsin or Montana right now. Mm -hmm. Filed this yesterday. Um... It basically it lists all their reasoning as to why this was issued. Mm -hmm. um, the main things that I'm going off of here. Um, so upon information and belief, a county police detective went to the home of the petitioner, and this was previously since October. Okay. Question about or since December. Um, question child welfare and encouraged her to abide by the court's judgment, which was. For October, okay. she was allowed to come here uh, for break. Christmas break, okay. and then January 3rd, she was supposed to be shipped back home on a plane. Um, that has since mom said she's not going to send her home. Delilah mm -hmm. also doesn't want to go home. So they sent the detective out. Mother refuses to return the child minor to the father following Christmas holiday. Mother's behavior has been erratic. Mother mm -hmm. has drug use. Um, father fears for the well being. Court finds concerns to be well founded in light of the above. Mm -hmm. uh, mother's behavior has caused and will continue to cause irreparable <laughs> damage um, in the absence of immediate relief being granted as requested by father. And then so, for the actual order, respondents shall have temporary sole physical custody and sole legal custody until January 29th, uh, ordered to immediately return the child to the respondent's custody so she may return to school, part of the reasoning before. Um, Keep going. Mm -hmm. And shall have no custody um, periods with the minor through January 29th. So they have a case in January 29th. The problem is dad's down in Montana or over in Montana right now. Um, we put in a call for a hotline already um, to send to the on to the on duty. We just wanted to come over and start this process. Uh, spoken with Detective Petty. He's basically filled in on it, said, that per, per this, I mean, there's really no scenario where we can leave her here. And Do you know which one of our detectives came out? I do not. No. Okay. I would assume it's a court detective, but I, I'm not certain. Okay. Uh, when was that? Do you know what the name was? No, I, I'm I'm just confused on it. That's all. It what? Was a, it was an officer just like you that came to our door that I spoke with. Mm, okay. What day was that? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. And so, um, mm -hmm. have you sent me paperwork mm -hmm. to be filed? To petition, I, I believe from a uh, quick understanding, it's petition DFS to take custody. Of her. And so that, that would have to be filed with her. The thing we're trying to figure out here is what well, the best way to go about it as far as taking her. Delilah doesn't want to go. She's going to be screaming the whole way, and mom doesn't want her to go. Um, if she would allow us to, we could fill in this paperwork and see what DFS has as far as. Right. But if they say she has to go, we're still going to have to be in that situation. So, um, Have you contacted um, the FS already? Yeah, I put okay. in a hotline, and okay. they called me on duty. Okay. And they're Perfect. supposed to call me, but I haven't gotten anything back. How long ago was that? Uh, let's see. 30 minutes? Yeah. Okay. 4.46. Okay. So close to about an hour, but I was on call or a hold for quite a while. Okay. So they should be calling us yeah, and I'm, I mean, okay. so, again, that's, that's the main concern about it. She was upset. She's come down a little bit right now, and that's why we originally called for one of you guys out. But um, I'm just trying to figure out the best thing. I'm going with the daughter. I mean. But, yeah, um, I'm in the... Regardless, I have to be able to print off the paperwork to 
to okay. scan it and send it in. So we're going to, at some point, have to make it to the station. I don't know if you're, based on this, okay with leaving one of us here with her in the meantime while we file out the paperwork, or, because this yeah, is saying she has to be removed, yeah. but. Yeah, but that's the only way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's called quick, quick reading. Yeah. But they wouldn't give me a number to call then. No, was, no. They'll get through to me. I can't believe they would even issue something like that. Because it's Montana. Like, are we supposed to take her and put her and on put a her plane or? That's why I, so DFS has to get involved so that way they can contact them down there and see what they want done. Okay. Have you spoken to Dad at all? Yeah, as we spoke to him off and on earlier. Um, same thing. So he went, okay. we explained to him. Here's my grid. Here's my And so okay. we explained this to him like, this is a court order now. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a restraining order. We have to abide by it. Yep. And I find in the whole process we're gonna have to remove her, have DFS come take custody mm -hmm. of her. He's like, I don't want any I don't, I don't want that being done. Um basically for the Lila's sake, he doesn't want her having that image of us as being mm -hmm. the remover. Mm -hmm. But I told him I was like, you, can you open the box here and, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. I just um I find some way to explain this to her that she would willingly go and I don't see a solution. Um, I really don't want to have to go hands on. I don't know what she was looking for. She's just looking up to see who showed up. Yeah, I want to see who showed I know we had a zero call or something about two weeks ago. By the time I walked up to the door, they had already cleared it. Oh, okay. okay. And that was just like I popped in, hey, okay, we're good. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, ma'am, if I may, what happened when the officer showed up the last time? Like, how did that go? Mm -hmm. He just asked if I was okay, and then he said that another officer was back later. We'll be back, what? Right. And nobody else has come since? Nope. Were you home when this happened also? Okay. Was there any, like, did you guys talk about the restraining order? Or not the restraining, not the restraining order, but the parenting plan? Yeah, everything is fine. And then check to make sure she was okay when you left. So that was after the date that she was supposed to be back, but not before this was filed. Okay. Again, we're just trying to keep it all under the same page so we know what's going on. But I have to, I mean, believe me, I'm trying to place myself in your situation here, and I'm, I'm trying to be very understanding, but I have to explain that by us filling out this paperwork, if they say that she's good to stay here, she'll be left, and we can bring her right back. The best thing for all involved would be to, in the meantime, come down to the station with us. And if needed, I mean, you guys wouldn't be able to stay in the same room down there, but you could go down and stay in our lobby, ma'am, while she comes down and stays with us. Who? Yeah, so. No one. He said there was, wasn't showing anyone here. So obviously, they didn't call I just out. didn't have cash in the no. no, I know I wasn't the last time, but that's again, I was just, she's fine, it was just a check the well. Mm -hmm. so. okay. I don't know how they pertain that to this, but then maybe more. What's that? I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Or I have a, I mean, that's fine, this daughter is really not wanting to go for it. What is it? You can't keep her with mom? No, no, no. Yeah. No, I, she's, I just tried to explain it to her and she okay. didn't want to. Awesome. I do. Since you're also here, would you mind calling the number or at least like yeah, maintaining? Because it, it usually takes like 15 minutes to try to get through to them. And that way I can see if maybe they'll try and give me the on call person's number. Delilah. We already put in a hotline call, but uh, just let them know we're trying to get through to the, the on duty. So that's going to be, I mean, this is the option we have uh, to keep you in the loop and keep you involved as best as possible is we have to take custody. That's the bottom line. We, we have to. I understand. But if you guys would be willing to work with us while we sort all this out, we can go down to the station. You can follow us and go with us. I'm not going to the station. There's no reason for me to. Okay, she has to go with us. That's, She's not going to go with you. I, there, we don't Are have a choice. Pick her up and take her? Are you I really do not want that her? to happen, and well, I'm trying to you. get you to work with us. I am working this. with you. When her dad comes in town, we can handle this. Dad's not in town. We well, can't. No kidding. What do you want her, you to do with her when he's in Montana? They're going to make arrangements for that. In the meantime, in the meantime, DFS, DFS will be taking custody. Now DFS has been taking her. They're going to have to, man. She's not going to go with them. Okay, Delilah, you... I'm not going with anybody. I, I know, but you have to understand the situation. I don't, I don't care. I'm not going with anybody. Okay. Why don't we gather some stuff right now while we're trying to figure out... With the DFS, she she's not going with you're gonna anybody. have to. Bottom line, you're gonna have to I'm go. Not going with okay, you. I'm, we're trying to be very cordial with you guys and it's allow you. you she's still not going with you. Allow you to help out in this situation. This is how kids get snatched for trafficking right here, like this. this Listen. Is how this is able to go on because people think they can come in. Okay, and, and as little as orders, you. Which goes against every civil right that we have and That's, take kids out of I, their that, home. I, all right, I understand that, ma'am. However, we have to abide by this court order. You do have to go with us, okay? In the meantime, like I said, we're going to go down there and basically just be there while we're dealing with this DFS stuff. If DFS says that she doesn't need to go with us, we will put her back with you in your Why car. Why is she going to go with you to be brought back? That don't make no sense. Because in the meantime, she has to be in our custody. So, if they say otherwise, we can put her right back in your car and you can bring her back. We're allowing you to work with us in this process to go down there do with you know us. you how damaging this is, that you, what you guys are doing right now to her? Trust me, I, I understand. No, you and don't we, understand. In this situation, that you're doing this we are just the messenger trying to abide by this order that we were presented with, well, okay? So, we're, we're not trying to make this as traumatic as, we're trying to make it as little as possible. You're not trying to make it traumatic, you're yeah. just being here traumatic. By going along with this process with us, it can minimize a lot of that, okay? So we are allowing you this opportunity to go with us down to the station until we hear otherwise from DFS. But in the meantime, she has to be in our custody. Well, then I guess you might as well take a seat and sit here until we get DFS. That's not going to work. Well, Would you work with work. us and grab some I things for her? I am working with you. I, mean, that is kind of work I opened my door. I offered you a seat. 
I understand. Down by we wait for DFS, that's fine. You read this, correct? I've read that a week ago. Okay, it says she has to be removed. All right, we don't have any other option. Who's gonna remove her? If you're gonna force us and force our hand in this, we are gonna have to. If you want to physically get physical with my daughter, go ahead. But that's what it's gonna take because she's not gonna go willingly. She's a 14 year old kid. Okay, and you're her mother in this situation. Yeah. And you're. And I'm her mother. Instigating and inciting this. Protecting her. Protecting her. And preventing this from escalating, you can allow her to go along with this process, go with us down there while we sort all this out. She's not going to go with you. But you understand you're also making a decision in this. Yeah, I know exactly what decision I'm making. You don't think I haven't been thinking about this since she got here? You don't think I've been facing this for weeks now? You don't think I have thought nothing but this? I understand, and you're going to have this court date on January 29th. This isn't a permanent thing. This is literally called a temporary restraining order. Okay, she's not going with you temporarily. If that's the case, then he'll be charged for filing a false oh, restraining that's a order. Lie in itself. He's if lying you can, court. Yeah. They exactly. Lying. If you can Judge prove lying. it, he'll be charged. I got it all recorded. Okay, that's fine. Lying in court is a criminal crime. The judge lies. So what do you do when you have a judge you can't trust because she's a liar? Okay. I'm not going to go into your process that's happened so far. Well, All I'm saying is liars. you have this process Nobody. come January 29th. Nobody. She's still... Okay.
with is Angela Freiner. Eighty-five, uh, sixty-four. Uh, no, no, seven. Oh, yeah, There's a car coming up here. Oh, let's stand by. What's, what's the numeric here? Uh, eighty-five forty-seven. Eighty-five forty-seven. Pilot at P-I-L-O-T. Yes, six three one two three. Essentially, uh, taking custody. We got. I think we we have a court order that's saying we have to take custody, and we're we're seeking assistance on it. Um, I really just need to speak with them as far as guidance on maybe some other avenues that we may have here. Okay. Okay, thank you. So what she said. Same thing, they have to, oops, sorry. They have to put in a call to get them to call us. No longer muted. By all accounts, she's been served it. She's been presented. Hey, take this. Hey, is that or who is that or Boyfriend, maybe? I haven't done much dealing with them because she's not No, no, no.
Muted. No longer muted. No longer muted. So Anderson's in route. He's gonna come over here. Still haven't gotten any other calls from anybody. So you know, at this point, could you mute that? Yeah. No longer no, no, muted. Clayton. Filed in Clayton. Good Zellweger. So this is them petitioning their case. The, the main parts. Well, that's the order, but... Don't you get these? Instead of giving them to a dad called us and told me hand. about it, and then yeah. I couldn't I couldn't pull it up in CaseNet. It was filed yesterday. I don't know if that's a, a thing. Her old one is call, not open to public. Did you call? Should we call Juvenile and make sure that this is? 
I mean, so how did Detective Petty get a hold of it? I called, um, I talked to Sergeant Meyer. He said okay. call child abuse and have them give me a call for okay. some guidance. So Petty, we, so, we received this from Petty. No, no, no. Okay. Oh. This was sent directly to me. I had the dad oh, email okay. it to me. So I'm just, uh, I just want to make sure that juvenile. Just to make sure that this is in our system. Okay. Yeah, I thought you got it from the Detective Before, Petty. Before, okay. you know, because juvenile you know, intake screening all this. Yeah, that's what I would do. And then give them this. Just, I mean, there's no embossment. There's nothing to say that it's, you know, you, know, you and I could pack this up and see the way Hey, this is Officer McClintock, St. Louis County Police. Um, um, I've got a court order case here that we're trying to just verify uh, it's active. In case night, there, it's showing that there's their previous modification, but uh, this one was filed yesterday and their records aren't open to public. So I was wondering if you'd be able to look this up and let me know if it's active with us. Mm. A, uh, it's a temporary restraining order on behalf of the child at one of the houses we're at. What's, are you gonna transfer me? I didn't hear you. Okay, do you have anybody, do you know who I would call, like family court? Delilah, Judy, J-U-D-Y, it's D-A-L-I-L-A-H. Uh, D-A-L-I-L-A-H. They said they don't, I mean, it's not something they can look up. That's not something they can look up. Mm. Yeah, let me give you my number. It's 314-809-0184. All right, thank you. Bye. Okay, so he could look it up? No, he said he's going to give me a call back in a minute because I got other people. But he said, they're, I mean, just with juvenile delinquent cases, they don't have access to the court order. Anything other than we would have on case now. But that came from Dad, right? Yeah, he emailed it to me. He emailed it to you. I'm wondering what. Because we always get the restraining orders. We should be getting that, not coming from the Dad. That's what, that's what gets me concerned. And Mom did not have a copy? No, she okay. said, uh, she said they had, she'd got an email that she had read, mm -hmm. I guess maybe while they were filing this or like putting it together, mm -hmm. but she was also fired up and not okay. really reading through it. So. Did that, she that read the email 14. to you? No, no, not the email. Uh, I, 14 she, I mean, I, like, I had to clarify, you've read this, you, you understand, okay. and, and she but she she's did. just saying she doesn't want oh, she doesn't, okay. she thinks it's a false. Okay. Possibly anyway. She's saying the judge is doing uh, illegal acts. So. Maybe that's what she's reading. Oh, she's that's got us on Facebook that. Live, I believe, right now. Oh, okay. Hard to break. Uh, Petty's phone number? Yeah. I'm gonna give him a call. I mean, we gotta be able to find a way to get this in our system. <clears throat> Thank you. Mm -hmm. What's up? What is she reading? 
Uh, just reading statutes and stuff. No longer muted. All right, so you said you guys had email correspondence about leading up to this. Yeah. Would you mind allowing me to see that, to see what paperwork was filed before, like how this has led up to this point? What do you want to see? 
what did you refer to as far as uh, oh, uh, my email? I already knew that he was filing this. Are these emails direct between you and him or through no, the this courts? Is from a lawyer. Gotcha. Right here. And then did they attach the Yeah, item? it's attached. Oh Oops, sorry. shoot, sorry. I know, man. This was the same dash up two division twenty one. Okay. Okay. I uh, appreciate you letting me see that. What was the attorney's name that sent that to you? Um, Haas. Susan Haas. Haas. H A S S. H A I S. H A I S. Okay. Thank you. So, without um, knowing how, like, the clerks file their paperwork. She received an email from the attorney saying we are in the process of filling this out. Mm -hmm. Has the order, mm -hmm. or the bottom is different, stating um, it basically just has an explanation of why father thinks um, her and then intentionally <laughs> left blank at the bottom. So if they filed that, was issued by the judge and then the judge signed it, that would be like the petition okay. that they sent mm -hmm. and then the judge's order at the bottom is what that one says. Her email did have all this. What's that? Her email did not have all this. Didn't have the judge's order the judge's at the bottom. Right. It had we Everything we request this be granted through okay. the judge. Like it's it's the request to be seen before the judge. Okay. Now if they would have taken that full petition and mm -hmm. then judge ordered, then it we're right. okay. still in effect. Yeah. Okay. This is what's showing. Mm. Under the original dash 01, all you can see is the header. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like, charges, judgments, it just says information in case not, case not public, public information. information. Which yeah. I don't understand that either. But when you type in dash 02, it doesn't mm -hmm. show up. Um, let me try something else real quick. Did he just take that order? Yeah, he took it Twenty 
Okay, so again, search of the name is not mm -hmm. showing it. Okay, yep. Not sure I call them immigration, but understand where they were. Not in the office. Yeah. Okay, that one. So the, uh, I was just telling them, doing like search the case net pulls up their modification from October, but not the dash 02 is not showing. But I don't know how I many, how long does it take? I don't know. But I would say until we get something from our place. Mm -hmm. He's trying to call uh, family court one more time to see if he's there. Mm. What's that?
No longer muted. He's on one mic. Call real quick. See what we got. It wasn't, it was a checker walker. Oh, okay. Just a walker check. I tried to get a hold of the intake supervisor, no luck. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to call the supervisor to the children's division to see if they, they know any other way to look this up. And then, other than that, I mean, I'm just a She bit has an email that was like sent from the attorney saying, hey, this is the paperwork we're going to file. And the bottom just says, um, it is requested like this be presented in a case be. The only difference is this one has the, judgment. the judge's orders. It's just not mm. in the system. Yeah. Hey, Kenya. It's uh, James Anderson. Yeah, no, it's Chris Wilson. He's going to be coming to the business. I think he'll call me back in a couple minutes if he gets it. Okay. Yeah, I'm on while well, we're talking on the phone, but I'll let you know if we need anything. We're good here. Thank you. Yeah? The intake supervisor is not available uh, to see if they have any other way to look it back. The two people that I told them the vision that I tried to call, they didn't pick up. So, Are you waiting for a call? Or? No. I've been told that they're going to call back from like four different areas right now and none of them are. Yeah. DFS has not yet. Um, they at least the hotline's in. But. So basically, um, No longer muted. <clears throat> All right, man. So I'm going to explain something real quick. You just give me a minute to, to get through it all. So how this was acting was the order that was issued was issued through this judge. At the present moment right now, we can't verify that online 
and we're waiting on callbacks to get anybody we can to verify that this is in effect, okay? Once we're able to verify that, it's still going to be a standing issue, a, sta a court-ordered issue, so we have to abide by that. However, at this time, we are going to leave. You're going to stay here while you guys are here in a safe environment and all that. Obviously, there's nothing, like you said, that we see of anything that puts it in immediate immediate danger right now other than what was issued in this court order okay when we have more information we're going to have to come back and we're going to let you know exactly what's going on we're being very transparent about everything trying to keep you in the loop on this as well if you want to try and make correspondence with that attorney and sort out kind of what the deal is but if it comes down that that order is in effect we will have to act on that now this puts you in a very weird position that you have to basically sit and wait and, and hear what comes back from the courts. However, just want to give you the heads up that there is the criminal charge. If you were to take off and take her. So why am I going to go anywhere? I'm fighting this battle all the way through. That's, that's perfectly fine. I just want to let you know that that's felony kidnapping, parental kidnapping. No, no, even, right. even as a parent, that can be the, the uh, parental kidnapping. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying anything that we will or will not be doing. I'm just letting you know what we have and Running what... Running this ain't going to stop it. Right. And so, uh, bottom line is, there is this court date for January 29th, as long as we can verify that. And that's going to be your opportunity to fight this and fight for custody here. Explaining everything that you've told to us that happened down there that wasn't presented in your original case. You're going to have this opportunity here, but... I have to insist that you just work with this in the meantime, okay? Do you have any questions or anything for me right now? Nope. Okay. Like I said, at some point we're going to have to come back. And even if even if it comes back that we're all good to just stay here until we hear otherwise, I'll give you a call and let you know, keep you in the loop and okay. keep everything on the same page here. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Did we get uh, – I don't know if we have – a good phone number for you. Three one four. Do you do you still have those paperwork? Hang on one second. That way, if you're not home, we can get a hold of you. Four zero five four nine seven nine. Again, if you got any other questions, Officer McClintock, okay, just call down there and uh, give us a call. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You want me to go ahead and shut this? Yeah, thank you. All right.